Hi everyone, how are you? Mr. Zaki with you to solve the problems in Mohiba level, level three. The first questions here, the three to the power 10 plus three to the power 10 plus three to the power 10. How I solve this problem? Okay, that's, it is easy to solve it. Look here, we have three times the same numbers, right? Because we have here, we have here addition. Look here, we have addition. If you have multiplying, that's, it is easy, I think. If you have multiplying here, then the answer is you add the exponent. 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals to the power what? 30, right? If you have multiplication. But now we have addition. So what I will do? So if I have a addition, right? Then you change it to multiplication. I have it three times. So you write three times because we have three numbers the same. You write it like this. Three times three to the power 10. And the three to the power one here. Yes, we change addition to multiplication. Then you can add the exponent. So what is the answer? One plus 10 equals what? 10. Did you take it these rules in your uh, school? If I have an exponent, one plus 10 equals to 11. So the answer is three to the power 10. So what is the answer? Yes, you did, you did it, you did, right, good. So the answer, what is the answer? It is what? It is number D, right? Good. Now question number two, question number two here, compare between two values. Who greater, value of, of A or value of B? How I solve this problem? In Mohiba, if you multiply it, that's you take more time. If you multiply it by original, by normal, it is you take more time. So you don't, you don't have enough time to do it. So you sim simplify it. <clears throat> what is the, uh, the ways? 81, you can write it nine times nine, right? Eight equals two times four. You analyze the problem and also seven, you see? Also about 27, also the same. Three times nine, right? Multiply two times seven, right? What about the, uh, also 12, three times four. Then you simplify between two values. Look here. When you simplify it, nine with nine, right? A three times three, it is also nine. It's gone. Also two, simplify it with two, right? Seven, simplify with seven. Four, simplify with four. Oh, Lord. The values is what? It are equals, right? The values are equals, the same. Without production, without I get how to multiply it, 81 times eight times seven, only I separate or only analyzes the number. Then I simplify it. So what is the answer now, my student? What is the answer? Can you tell me what is the answer now? Yes, Fatima Al-Yusuf, right. 
right? It is what? It is C. The two values are equal. Because I analyze the number, then I simplify it, then that's the same. So the answer is C, right? Good. Okay, now we will go to the another question. You see, do you understand? Miskal Jawad, Fatima Yusuf, Fatima Al Hashim, Ran, Zainab. Do you understand? Right, good. I want to be attention, and you are intelligent to solve for problems. Okay, now the value of one twenty. Okay, can you help me to find the value here? The value of 120 minus 64 divided 8 times 4. How I do it, this problem? The first one, you do it the brackets, exponent, addition, or not addition, um, uh, division, multiplication, addition, and um, subtraction from the left to the right. Arrange operations. Do you see? Arrange, yes. Right, right, run. So the value of 120 minus 64 divided 8 times 4. How I solve these problems? Okay. Now, you must first division here. Because I have here subtraction, not use it now. 64 divided by 8 equals what? Equal to 8, right? Multiply by 4. Also, 8 multiply 4 equals 32. So, 120 now minus 32, what is the answer? 120 minus 32. What is the answer now? Can you tell me the answer? It is what? It is 88, right? So the answer, it is 88. Yes, number C. Right, good. Okay, number four. How? How do you get the sum of one from 200? So I want to be intelligent. I have here series numbers, one plus two plus three plus four plus and etc. cetera to 100. What is the sum from one to 100? How? If you add, in normal, one plus two, it is a three, three plus four, it is seven. Maybe you take more time, right? So what I will do, one plus two plus three plus four plus et cetera, plus 100. I have two ways. One way is by rules or by formula. Another way by your mind. How? Here I see like this. Here also 99, before it 98 and 97. So this 100, one plus one 99, it is 100, right? Two plus 98, it is 100. Three plus 97, it is 100. 4 plus 96, it is 100. How many 100s I have? How many 100 I have? Because each two numbers equals 100. Each two numbers equals 200. We have what? We have 50 times of 100, right? Good, Fatima al -Ajim. I have 50 times of 100. What about the middle one? The middle one is 50. I have only one number, 50. 
So you write here plus 50. We have the 15, 50 times of 100 and plus 50. 50 times 100 equals 5,000 and plus 50, then the answer is 5,050. So what is the answer here? The answer what? It is what? It is number D, right? This, if you forget a formula, then you can't solve the problems in your mind. You see? Okay, now, I have another problem. You can write, you can write a formula. I want to write it in your note. I think you have a note in uh, your uh, package. Okay, now, what is the formula? Formula it is x, x plus one, if you want to get the sum from any problems from one to another over two, like this. You can do it here, the sum. You can get the sum from one to 100. Okay, only substitute. X, it is the last number. How much X, the last number, it is what? It is what? It is 100, right? And X here also 100 plus one over two, right? Then you simplify, you simplify it here. Yeah, okay, divided by two, it's one. 100 divided by two, it is 50. And 100 plus one, it is one, one, oh, one, right? Then you multiply it, 50 times one, oh, one, it is 50, 50, right? It is 50, 50, so 500, 5,050, you see? Do you understand? My student, do you understand? You have two ways, right? The first way, like this. Okay, can I give you a number? Okay, can I give you a problem to solve it here? Okay, I give you a problem. Hello everyone, so the answer is from when to the sum of when to 20, you can use the formula then you get that's 220. Or you can use it your mind. So how many 20 I have it? I have 10 times of 20 plus 10. So 10 times 20, it is 200 plus 10, it is 210. Right, good. We will go to another question here, number five. If x over y equals seven, then x plus three y over two y. What is the answer here? Now, I have two solution also. I have two ways to solve this problem. Look here. He said, x over y equal to seven. Can I write it here fraction? Then I put it here also when. So X equals seven and Y equals one. Can I write this? So you substitute here. X, it is seven. Y equals to one. Also here multiply by one. So seven plus three, divided by two, seven plus three equals to 10, divided by two, then the answer is what is five. So the answer is number A. You see, this is the first way. 
Okay, you have another way. If you wanted to solve it here, you separate, you, so you separate, separate the denominator. You put it here, x over 2y, this is another solution, another way to solve. Plus 3y x over 2y. You separate, separate the denominator. Then you simplify y and y. x over y equal to 7. Here, x over y equal to 7. So you put it here, 7. Two, here, when 7 over 2. You write it 7 over 2 plus 3 over 2. That's we have the same denominator. Then you add uh, numerator equals to 10 over 2. 10 over 2 equals 5. So you can solve the problems in two ways. So the answer is A. Good. Now, we have this problem number six. How many even integer number are between 12 over five and 56 over five? How many integer? How I solve these problems? How many even integer? Ah, it is for maybe, I don't know now, maybe four, but yes. Here you pairs, you get the answer, 12 divided by maybe 2.4, right? 56, point, uh, 56 divided by five, it is five, 11 point, like this, and maybe 11 something. So between 2.4 and uh, 11 with how many integers here? Even integer, right? The first integer is four and six, even integer. He, he said even. We have even, we have odd. Now, how many even integer? Four, six, eight, and what? And 10. So we have four, right? Fatma and Sheikh. So the answer, it is what? It is four, right? So number C. Now we have two questions here. Number seven now. Number seven, the measure of the exterior angle of an equilateral triangle equals, you know, exterior angle, how? to get the answer. Do you know exterior angle? If I have, if I have a triangle here, look, if I have, oh, okay. If I have a triangle here, that's it's the same, and exterior number, exterior angle. This and a triangle. Now, a triangle that he said equilateral. Equilateral, that's what they say. What is the meaning? Yeah, yes, yeah. so the angle is 60 here, 60 here, also 60 here, right? Because the sum of the angle of triangle it is 180. He said about the exterior angle, he asked about here. What is the exterior angle? You add two angles that's far away from the angle. If he asked to here, that's, it is the sum of two angles that's far away from this angle. So you add, 60 plus 60 equals to what? It is 120. Did you take it before in your school? I think, right? Okay, now, number eight, 
Yes. Number eight. Now we will take it. The last questions here. Then the the left questions. Homework. You try it to solve the problem. If sixth of a number equals twenty five percentage of the number twelve, then what is the sum? Oh, what is the numbers? What is the numbers? Not the sum. What is the number? We have the six of a number. What is the meaning? The six of the number. It is twenty five percent of this of twelve. I write equation like here. Sixth number. We write it when over six of any numbers. That's equals. 25% of the number, that's we write it, 25 over 100 times 12, right? Can we also know 25% is a quarter, right? So what is the quarter of 12 divided by four, then you get a three, right? Then you get here a three. So now you multiply it six times three equals to 80. So the number is 80. So the answer is what? The answer is D. Do you understand my student? Do you understand? If he said 25%, that's you give the quarter divided by four, 12 divided by four, it is a three. Then you write when over six, X equal to three, then you multiply it by six to get the X. Then X equals one eight, one eight. Do you understand? Right, good. So what about the questions here? You try it to finish the question because this here, it is, I think, easy. Try it to solve the left questions. That's homework. And check the answer. The answer is here, okay? Then if you have any questions, next class I explain, I will explain the question if you get a difficult question, you see? And you are welcome. Good luck, my student, Mr. Zaki with you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.